Hello, today I'll be doing my presentation on art for the art portfolio. My name is Dirk Wolf. So my cover says creative arts for elementary teacher. My name, Dickinson State University and Professor Colkerson. Um, this is what my cover looks like. Uh, I try to keep it somewhat professional. I know like the white doesn't look very professional, but I could add some art, some art on it to make it look more professional, I guess. But I just kind of kept it simple um, and clean, I guess. So we open it up and it has my table of contents. Yes, you can see that. Then, but I have my, it has overview, page two, colored pencil, three to eight, Aztec lesson plan, page nine, construction paper, 10 to 11, cut construction paper, lesson plan, page 12, Sharpie, 13 to 14, watercolor, 15 to 17, marker, 18, marker lesson plan, page 20, paint, 21, Pastels, 22. My Pastel Planets Lesson Plan, 23. My Art Creativity Plan, page 24. And My Reflection, 25 to 28. Um, I brought, I branched it off into sections of the, like material or what I used for the art projects. I guess I thought maybe that would be <clears throat> one of the simplest options. So I, that's why I chose that. Um, I just used bolding for the main and then the subs. I just used a lower. I don't know if you can see. Completely bolded. The light's kind of not the best so then my overview just says the portfolio contains contents of my work through the semester over the semester our objectives were as to create a portfolio we could use in the future for our teaching within my portfolio is my artwork lesson plans and creativity plan this portfolio has taught me how to present my work in a professional way overall this class was so enjoyable as i got to express art through my view as you will see throughout my portfolio even though my work isn't top tier to some i still enjoyed the process that this class has given me so then we started off with colored pencils and my the first one I have on here is our names. This one was kind of cool just to see what kind of animal and such it would make. Um, mine made, I think like a whale. This kind of reminds me of Pearl from SpongeBob, or I think it's SpongeBob. I don't know why I'm seeing her in this, but so yeah, so then I just did random colors with that with my name. <clears throat> the next one was this one. Um, that one was kind of hard to do, I guess. The crazy haired lady that was kind of funny to do geometry tree next and this this one was pretty fun to do i liked it enjoyed it where you could put anything uh kennedy had the favorite one i've seen yet hers was pretty funny and really good so uh, this is mine i guess i just did a little baby shark where it folds in so and then we had this i i don't know exactly what like cultures would be from but i just for some reason got like aztec with it so my first lesson plan i did here was characteristics of civilizations and agricultural revolution um this is the standard standard wh.6 and then i won't go over the whole standard but basically i would just give the kids a powerpoint on the culture students will be shown different drawings students will look up facts from that culture students will draw their own version of the culture and what like they think their face will be like what kind of paints and such are on it and then group discussion uh that's my modifications are kind of the same for all of them so i will list those at the end if there's time but you guys probably have the same modifications that i would um uh, my next one is this is from week one uh this is this is a fun thing just to see i guess of what everyone created but i don't know i got like a like a I don't know, like a Lion King vibe. So I chose to do that. Um, this one, <laughs> this one didn't turn out the best, but it was fun to try to do and such. But this is that collage thing. And then I did a lesson plan with this one. Um, and then I was going to do with torn paper. They can look at different fractions and rip one in half. And you'd see it'd be a half, rip it in a fourth. So you do fourth and you could do something like this and kind of put it on a paper and you could have it have them be and try to make out the fractions i thought that would be good for lower elementary because that's what i would like to teach um and this lesson is pretty simple um my next drawing was this one that one took me a lot of time that one's kind of the coolest i guess it's bigger but i cut it the hand uh, the alien the alien one was fun my roommates got a kick out of it i thought it was pretty fun to do i kind of wanted to dress up the alien but i never did adding the watercolors was was pretty fun with it. It was a cool experience. The church window. Ugh. And then this one, um, as you can see, it was harder to do that 
kind of design between them with since it was so much bigger but so that turned out then my hot air balloon this was my favorite project just because it it's so cool i think all together and then my lesson plan on this was this they would i would use this for a story and they would try to design the story throughout the picture the, the toilet paper on this one was very cool to see the toilet paper get into use and then this pastel and my lesson plan with this one is i would do a solar system idea with this one so i won't go into too, deep, too much detail with that my creativity plan it just pretty much talks about creativity in the classroom and where i see where i view creativity um obviously you've already read that so i won't go into depth with that but i added that obviously the requirements and then my reflection so there's my creativity plan and then my reflection there's the cover thing for apa and then there's my reflection there and it cut off when i went to print it so the back it's, it is two pages it went over here but yeah so that was pretty much my art portfolio it was very fun to see and it'll be it'll be cool to look at in the future when i bring this out to show to my kids or if it's if the school i'm looking at you know asks if i have any artistic ability you know i can bring out this bad boy and show him and you know show him my great work that i did in this class but overall i really enjoyed the class and it taught me to be creative within myself and i didn't have to worry about getting judged from any of my classmates or you because you guys are all super nice people and i trust you guys so but yeah so that's my art portfolio presentation i hope you enjoyed